Can I help you? Who are you? I'm Hines. I'm at Cliff Bennett, backstage at the Palace Ballroom in Southampton. Said I should come and see you, like, you know, an audition. Said you'd have a word, like, you know, said of putting a word in for me. Said if I used his name, it'd be all right. I could just turn up on the spec. You know, with no appointment. Did he? That's nice of him. Yeah. So, um, where did you say you were from? Near Southampton. And what is it that you do? Bacon slicer. Really? How useful. Oh, sorry, you meant, you know, uh, I'll sing. And I'll play a bit of bass. Tell you what, why don't you pop to the shops and get me a jar of coffee? Instant, all right? Yeah. I really think I found a nice little melody. Here's ten bar. Get me a couple of packs of prelude in. Right. What's that? Prelude in. You get it from the chemist. It's slimming tablets. Mm-hmm. You want to die? No. I'm just going to be very busy, that's all. Pop back in an hour, I'll see if I can fit you in. Right. Ta. Great. Hour. Lady thing. Freely did. Yeah. He's eager, isn't he? Can't say I noticed. Right, back to work. station nestled in the mountains of Andover, Maine, a signal is sent to a speeding yeah. satellite, an historic feat that could reshape man's future. That satellite, of course, is the Telstar, 170 pounds of complex electronic equipment that receives signals beamed from Earth, magnifies them 10 billion times, and rebroadcasts them Our back friend, to Earth. Telstar, if you were with us earlier this evening, you'll know what this is. It is the near miracle satellite now in orbit in space which we hope in just one hour from now on this very program is going to transmit to us the first ever live public television pictures from the United States of America. I can America. see from where I'm sitting. Let's go over live to Goon Hilly in Cornwall. Thank you, Richard. There is an unmistakable image. That's a man's face. That is the first live television picture across the Atlantic. What is the future? Scientists visualize a belt of Telstar Tell encircling Star. the globe, globe in such a manner that transmission will be continuous around the world. Around the world. instruments, can he, so he has to hum those fucking tapes. Clem, I don't want it on the ride, I want it on the hi-hat. I'm on the hi-hat! Then play it closed. I played it closed! Then play it better! Oh, okay then. Right, well fucking get on with it then. You! Twang, twang, twang! Twang, 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 twang! twang. Pardon? Twang, twang, twang. So we got me a great yarn of five six. Twang, 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 twang. By rights, we should be off inside an hour. Twang, 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 twang. Right, that's it, that's it. You play that. You play what you always fucking play. Twang, twang, twang. Tighter, tighter. Right, it's not bad. Stop, stop, 
So, I want eight bars of that. Twice. You never had this trouble with Johnny Kidd. I'll bet. Never recorded over a handbag shop. Yeah, it's unusual, isn't it? Always used to have to wear a suit to the studio. Riveting. Get on with it! Sorry, mate. No cue lights. Present, present, baby laugh with us. Come, what are you doing? Drumming. Bum, titty, bum, titty, bum, titty, bum. Look, no hands. I'm recording. Carry on then. All right, keep practicing. I'll be back in a minute. Joe, we ain't got the time. I don't want to piss Larry off. Well, fuck Larry Pond and fuck Billy Fury. This is my tour. You are my band, and you will stay sat there till I say. He only started the tornado so he could try and lure Billy Fury into his carsey. Never had any of this with the pirates. You should always have more than one string to your bow, Patrick. Duck, keep it. Thank you, sir. These ducks are cheap, not like these tapes. What does he want more for? I don't know, sir. Recording? Hello, boys. How's the noise? All right. Hello, matey. Are we off soon? Allegedly. Well, about an hour, we hope. Well? What do you think of the whistle, then? Very smart. He just left it in my room. Don't know about that tie, though. What about? Don't know. It's just a bit, you know. Isn't it, Alan? What? The tie. Oh, yeah. What's wrong with it? Nothing. It's fine. It's fine. No, you're right. It was a bit. I'll just go upstairs and change it. Suit yourself. <laughs> Andy living upstairs. Yeah. Too fucking Andy. Sop is a box of frogs. I don't mind if he could play. He plays bass like he's wearing boxing gloves. That's when the valve shorts out and picks up the guitar and I'm so to bother you. I was listening to the Navy laugh. Oh, that's all right. It went funny and fuzzy and like that and then a high pitched wee sound I couldn't believe my ears it all went quiet and then suddenly all hell let loose I thought that's not John Pertwee right well I will have it sounding clear as a bell by thank you afternoon Joe oh look it's father bloody Christmas punks who changed me tie I haven't been home since Wednesday can't remember the last time I changed my pants blood out of a stone Patrick, put those tapes in the office and put the cat on. Joe, those tapes are not to be trifled with their expense. I'm not to be trifled with, Major. Begging for tapes is not what number one record producers do. It will take a while for the revenue from your hits to actually appear. What am I supposed to do in the meantime? Play conkers with the boys? No, of course not. But come along, Joe. I want to expand, but one step at a time. You've got Patrick now as a full-time office assistant. Oh, well, what do you fucking do, Mr. Rockefeller? Joe, Joe, there's a... Sorry, Major, sir. There's a phone call for you. It's Brian Epstein. Shit. About the demos he sent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got this Mersey beat combo. The rubbish. Right, you bastards. I'll be back in five minutes. Keep practicing. You don't go in there. Major. Major. Can I have a word? Sir, we've got to be in Great Yarmouth by six. If we don't head off now, we're buggered. That is up to Joe. I haven't seen daylight for two days. Well, believe me, it hasn't changed much. He's got this track that don't make any sense. He'll have us banging on about it till we miss the Billy Fury gig. It's not rational behaviour. He has been terribly moody. And after what happened to Billy... Greedy little bastard. No one gets royalties. You're all on session fees. Seven pounds, six shillings. Does that include being attacked with a pair of scissors and thrown down a flight of stairs? Well, I would have chucked him out the nearest window. He could have killed him. How do you think Alan feels? He's Billy's replacement. Fuck knows what'll happen to him. Oh, cheers. Or any of us. Well... Except blonde rinse upstairs, which is another thing. He's treated like Presley and fucking clueless. He don't know a flat from a house. Are you quite finished? 
Yeah. Then let me remind you that Joe is your recording manager. And as such, he will decide when he records and with whom. And I should think, Clem, that you could afford yourself a little faith in his judgment. This whole Mersey Beat thing, it's a fad. But good luck with the demo. Oh, and please, send my love to the boys. I know. Leighton has buggered off to Hollywood. And Joe is still searching for the next hit, not just for himself, but for all of us. So when you're down in the pub, or playing darts, or whatever it is you boys do, Joe is working. Constantly working. The boy's a genius. So if your feelings are hurt, it is a very little consequence to me. Do I make myself clear? Yes. Good. Carry on, then. Patrick, you've got more than an idiot. Call's back. Tell him I'm busy. Anything to report? Poor Brian, he's a lovely man, but he don't have a clue what the kids want. Mm. Patrick! Well, I'll just be leaving it to you then. Just thought I'd pop round. And spy? I just wanted to see where all those tapes were going. Oh, surprise, surprise, I'm recording with it. Yes, well, of course you are. Goodbye. Joe? Cold Joe, time to get in the cab. I need him here. Yes, Jim. Oh, now, you got any of my sweeties? I'm going to finish this track if it kills me. You should get some sleep. Lexis? Take money out, pay cash. I did. You said that yesterday? Oh, you are good. It's nice to have someone I can trust. Coffee? Oh, lovely. Hiya, hey, buddies. Let's hear it. Hear what? Oh, don't start that again. Bum titty bum, twang, twang, twang. Silly noise. Oh, that's just for the intro. It's bollocks. Why don't you play it? I'm going to Yarmouth. What? You still got the piano, whatever the fuck part is to put down yet? Yeah? For your information, Jeff is on his way to play the keyboard. Jeff? That daft prat. How dare you? All that song from Beyond the Grave, bollocks, is embarrassing. Yeah, but it has to be true. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what is true. As MU Depp for this band, I am truly calling this recording session to an end. I'm sorry, Joe. I'm not letting everyone cop it just because you've got some silly bollocks idea that sounds like a lump of dog shit. All right, go on, let's we're going. What? Oh, yeah. You ungrateful bastard! Right, go on, then fuck off, you fat bitch! And you, you communist cunt! Uh, sorry, strictly speaking, fuck I'm off. not really a member of the MU. Fuck off! Fuck off! Fuck off! Fuck off! Oh, you got your new suit? Yeah, do you like it? It's lovely. Yeah, pucker, isn't it? Oh. I like that tie, that's a nice touch. Yeah? You must bring an umbrella, it might rain, you must watch your hair. <laughs> Alright, Mum. Oh, you're right. I don't want to get me a fluffy. Yeah, alright, and see it. Hi. Bye, guy. You got a fly? Tony looks stunning. Very smart. Jeff is on his way. Terrain. Joe? 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 Jeff, it came to me in a dream. What? He saw a slot before Billy Fury comes on. Those ungrateful tornado bastards, they just don't understand. I do. Joe, it's raining, there's a storm. Just like when we recorded Johnny. Good omen. So, what's the track called? The theme of Telstar. Good. What is it, Telstar? I've heard of that. Satellite. A miracle of science. It picks up invisible rays from the other side of the world, then it beams them back to Earth. Like the ether? Yes. Like the ether, but... It's science. Right, so... We lift off. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. 
when we go up to space. Do 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 no do that's it. Then we offer do 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 then we look down at Earth at all the humans. Do 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 about do 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 that's what looking at humans would sound like. I like that. Play it again. Truth is, I've made a little moment. The very own gold disc, Joe. Congratulations. I got me the best band in the world. It gives me great pleasure in presenting this unprecedented second gold disc to songwriter and producer, Mr. Joe Meek. Two million copies! And the winner of the 1963 Ivan Novello Award is, of course, the writer and producer of Telstar, Mr. Joe Meek. I'd like to say a very special thank you to a very special person. Some of you may know her as Billy, but I don't. I know her as Mum. Thank you, Bob. Christmas, guys and gals, that was the Billboard chart this Christmas, and here's the nation's holiday number one, topping the U.S. charts for the first time ever. It's a British band. Telegram for you, Mr. Moon. I don't know if it's good enough, sir. Thank you, sir. with some phosphorus. Some being left by the local home guard. And I discovered that if you put some on your hands and clap, there'd be a little puff of smoke. Of course, I thought I discovered something wonderful. So I put a small lump on my palm and I clapped ever so hard and there was this tremendous explosion which <laughs> knocked me off my little feet. When I got back up, I discovered that my hands were terribly burned. Phosphorus was still burning. Kept burning all the way in. Until my dad, who was a veteran of the First World War, he put both my hands in a burn of milk. By then my hands had been terribly burnt, so I was rushed to the hospital. And the doctors told me that I would never be able to move my hands again. Oh. There's nothing wrong with your hands. That's because there was one doctor. 
A very special man. Yeah? They're bloody clever, those doctors. Oh, they work miracles. But this one doctor, this one special man, he saw there was a spark in this little boy. He made a commitment to me because of that spark. And I was committed to him. These aren't the hands of a bass player. Right, who are you? Peel, John Peel, New Musical Express. Okay, well, I'm very busy, can't be long. What do you say to people who accuse Telstar of being the now? It sold three million. What other artists do you supervise? Well, I look after Screaming Lord Such. He's touring the country at the moment. He's very, very colourful, <laughs> very popular. <laughs> There's Cliff Bennett, Mike Berry, and the newest one is Heinz. He's just cut his first solo disc since he left the Tornadoes. He will be the biggest star in the country within a year, bigger than Cliff Richard, oh, and much bigger than that drunken streak of piss, Billy fucking Fury. Oh, want to watch out for then. Oh. Who are your favourite artists? I like modern jazz, Ella, and I love Judy Garland. You get my gold disc in the back. Yeah, mate. I'm doing it. And what is your future? I'd like to write a musical. was on fire. psychology and people follow arrows you just can't help it yeah so what if we were to paint arrows on all the roads and buildings around piccadilly circus all pointing towards a shop a shop the shop where the record will be for sale and screaming lord such will be performing <laughs> gig in a shop well i think it's fucking ridiculous <laughs>
can spill all your tail around. Yeah, toss that. So all down my suit. I like to see you afford a suit like this, yeah. You cheap arsehole. Smiling now, are you? Yeah, you... Oi, 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 light bulb. How many watts is that head? Oh, 100, no, ain't that bright? <laughs> Jean and Jerry Lee, they were hard like you know. You've got to win them over. Can't. Oh, tight. Walk out and speak. Call me a puff. It's because of the air and the suits. Yeah, after the songs. Yeah, it gets worse. So I'm at home in Southampton. I do what you said about looking at a nice girl in the crowd for dreams come true, like Jean does. And be bop Lula. Only, like, it was some bloke's bird. And he decides to come and get me at stage door. My mum overheard. It was only her tip off what saved me, like. She was a lot more scared than I was, of course. Well, she would be. Poor love. Joe, sometimes I look at these two stars. And I, I can't believe I'm playing with her. And other times, I wish I didn't have to. Oh, you don't mean that. No, they don't like me. I mean, what, what if, if people, what if they just don't like me? Confidence. That's all you need. Come here. You are on tour with two rock and roll greats because you've got talent. I'm not wrong about that. Now, I was going to keep this as a surprise, but just to help your confidence, I'm going to tell you now, I have got two, maybe three, TV slots lined up for you when your record comes out. No joking. No. I'm going to be on the telly. Yeah. Bloody no. <laughs> now, I hope you've been watching those two and learning something, because pretty soon you're going to be in everyone's front room, and you'd better be ready for that, my lad. <laughs> Jerry, you'll be bigger than Presley. Silly. And I'm working on a big hit for you, your very own top.